I split my role 50-50 with my business partner. My business partner looks after the kitchens and all things back of house, essentially kitchens. Um, and I run the business and look after the front of house for the um, three restaurants. Essentially, I, I have three managers who report to me. So in its basic form, I look after the service uh, front of house and, ha and the look of the rooms and uh, aspects of training and personnel. But further around that, it will involve things like marketing, communications, social media. In the three restaurants, we probably employ about uh, between 120 and 150 people. It depends on the peaks and troughs of the year. As we go into uh, October, November, December, we build up, especially for December, a very, very busy month for us. Antti and I first met by chance, I suppose, as is often the case. Um, developed our, our business plan and our, our ideas about uh, hospitality together over, us, I suppose, a seven to 10 year. Um, period. And we were seeing a change in, 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 the, in the way people are dining out and so we came up with our concept of Arbutus which was very much about fantastic food but in a relaxed and informal environment uh, offering uh, phenomenal value. One way to do it was to remove a lot of the fripperies if you like of, of fine dining so take away the sommelier, take away the expensively designed menu or take away the fine nappery or the silk cutlery or, or, or all those bits and pieces. The second aspect was in the kitchen using cheaper ingredients, one of Anthony's sort of, Anthony's very well known for that, um, using cheaper ingredients and turning what essentially could be a, a rather mundane and lesser used cut of meat or fish. For us, a lack of informality doesn't mean a lack of professionalism. We still want our staff to be immaculate, you know, menu knowledge, wine knowledge, the ability to put food down at the table in a, in, a, in a pleasant way rather than just slam it down and walk off. The ability to smile at our guests and make them feel slightly special. These are really important, for, for us, these are really important aspects of our business and I do feel it's a bit lost in a lot of places these days. Having a great relationship between kitchen and front of house is, uh, is crucial because we can't work without the other and, it, and the kitchen can't operate without their kitchen porters. You know, likewise on the floor we have our, our runners or tray carriers or cleaners or whatever it might be and they can't operate without the restaurant manager and, the, and so within our own departments we, we need the structure. But we need to work together between us because, again, the kitchen can produce whatever they want, but if they haven't got the cooperation or the trust in their manager to, uh, to present what they've spent all morning preparing in a great way, then business can't operate. Um, guides are important, of course. I think more of a concern is when you're rating changes. You know, we have a Michelin star at Arbutus and a Michelin star at Wild Honey. I think the vast number of guests who dine with us possibly don't even realise that. But if we were to lose a star, that would possibly be more negative than to gain it, because it would imply that yesterday we had a star, today we don't have a star, standards have changed, and of course the standard yesterday is the same as the standard today, and we keep pushing and we put our passion and our heart and soul into what we do. So uh, that would always be my concern, that always is my concern, that you're five out of ten or whatever it is drops to four out of ten or, or your uh, yeah your one star drops to no star and that gives more of a, a negative impact.